Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new series here on the iDubs TV channel network. It's called Tutorial. We're going to do a condom tutorial today. There's two types of condoms, oranges and blacks. Now uh, the orange ones are my favorite. They are sort of working man's condom. Uh, despite them being orange, I would call them the blue collar condom. Now uh, I, will, uh, I, will, I will give you a little background about the blue collar condoms. Uh, they're called Durex. Uh, and that's actually an anagram for Dick Under Rubber Excited Xenophobe. So, uh, this is, well, you know, for the typical American. Uh, now, uh, the other one is called Skin. Uh, it's, it's skin, and uh, it has very elegant packaging, kind of holographic. Sort of the holographic Pokemon card that you might get out of a Pokemon card pack. Uh, super rare, super usable. There are a lot of people out there who will tell you do not open a condom with your teeth. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's a load of horse shit. You can open it with your teeth, but I would say that if you do open it with your teeth, you need to be ca very careful, okay? Because I'm not worried about you puncturing it. That's what other people will say. I'm worried about you looking like a sex-crazed animal. Either that or a child who can't open the package of gummy bears that he's trying to get into. Either way, you look bad. Uh oh. Once you've separated the condom from the packaging, what you're going to want to do is uh, just set it down on the, on the table in front of you or whatever's nearby. And you want to take, take something a little bit sharp, like a, like a, a hatchet, and you just want to <laughs> puncture the top a little bit. If you, if you puncture the top, that'll allow your, your penis to breathe. And you want your penis to breathe, because if your penis can't breathe, then what's going to happen is it's going to suffocate. Once you put the condom on, it's going to suffocate your penis, and it's going to drop right off your body. So do whatever you can. There's, there's many different techniques. I like to use... Uh, I like to use... Uh, I like to use throwing knives. Uh, it's, it, it helps, you know? And you could also do this... Ideally, you do this one, once, once it's on. So you start to roll it on there, just like that, and uh, see see the top. You can see how it's a little bit inflated. What you want to do is you just want to pinprick that. Okay, so once you've pinpricked it, now you can breathe, and you roll the rest of it on, just like that, okay? A lot of you guys are probably confused at this point. We've gone through a lot of steps. It's your first time. You really don't understand it. Uh, for those of you who, who get a little stuck at this part, uh, the reason that we're chopping the top off is because... It's sort of like how a beer enthusiast will, you know, poke a hole in the top of their beer can so that, so that the air can pass through it and it can breathe easy. Same thing with the penis. If you don't chop the head of the penis off, then you, uh, your, your penis is going to suffocate. So you just kind of want to... At this point, you're almost ready to go. I say almost because the next step is you got to get some paracord. If you get some paracord or some twine, maybe some fishing line, something very strong that has a lot of tinsel strength, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wrap it around and tie it very tightly around the condom, around your shaft. The reason you want to do this is because if you don't do it, guess what's going to happen? The condom's going to fall right off. So you want to you wanna do it as tight as possible, just like that, and uh, once... Once that's taken care of, I mean, you could, you could even tie it in several different areas. Now that it's all tied off, you're ready to get down to business. You're ready to do what you came here to do, and that's frick. All right, so, uh, you know, f start fricking. Frick to your heart's content, baby. Now, uh, if at any point in time you feel like the condom's coming loose or it may have ripped, don't worry. Just keep going. J cl the best thing to do is close your eyes. Remember that it's it's a natural sensation that it feels like it's coming off, but it definitely isn't coming off, okay? This thing is snug on there. You just keep pushing forward, okay? Literally. Now, once you're done, all you got to do is take the dang cord off, and then you just toss it to the side. Toss it to the side. Wherever you're at, if you're... Uh, if you're in a, in a parking lot, if you're in, uh, you know, someone's front lawn, wherever you're at, just throw it on the ground. It doesn't matter. Let me tell you why it doesn't matter, because it's a common myth that, that, that condoms are litter. All condoms are biodegradable. No one even realizes this. Every single condom that they sell in the store is biodegradable. It's mandated by the U.S. government. A lot of people out there throw big old hissy fits 
about the condom that's not biodegrading fast enough in their kid's schoolyard. Well, newsflash, okay? It takes a little while. If you want the condom to biodegrade faster, here's what you do. You can sprinkle some candy around it or some breadcrumbs in it so that, uh, you know, the kids come by and stomp around it or the seagulls come and swoop down uh, because, you know, the more activity around a condom, the better. The faster it's going to biodegrade. Think about all the kids stomping around it, okay? That thing's going to disappear in no time flat. After that step, you are all done. You have done your due diligence. You can rest easy at night knowing that no one is pregnant. You can rest easy knowing that you're helping the environment, you're eco-friendly, you're sustainable, and uh, there's no one who's, uh, who's going to get a sexually transmitted disease. So that has been this episode of a uh, uh, tutorial. A lot of people out there forget that you could spread sexually transmitted diseases with weapons. So uh, obviously... Use a condom on your weapon if you're going to stab anyone, if you want to rob anyone. You gotta be safe about it, you know what I mean? Heaven, heaven forbid you go to stab that old grandma and you give her herpes. We wouldn't want to see that happen, so make sure you put a condom on and uh, make sure you bring it all the way to the tip, because if you don't bring it all the way to the tip and you don't vent it, then uh, guess what's gonna happen? That's right, your knife's gonna fall out of your hand. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this episode of tutorial, iDubs tutorial, bad tutorial, good tutorial, I don't know, good good and bad and ugly tutorial. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button, remember to hit the subscribe button, and remember to hit that share button. All those things really help out the channel. I can't really do anything unless you guys do that stuff. Uh, I'll get depressed. I won't make any more videos. Yeah, I'm guilt tripping you. Please do all the above. Make sure you share it. I'm sure someone's going to find it funny that you're that you're in and around. Maybe your mom. Share with your mom. Share with your daddy. Maybe he'll be like, ooh, this is a neat guy. Could. Absolutely could. What if I told you that I could sell you a ring? And when you wear this ring, there's a 0.0000000001% chance of you getting a, a, a blowjob from a sexy stranger. At any point in the time, at any point in, in your day, one that that percentage each day, you would say, "Yeah, I'll wear that." A lot of people forget that back in the day, we didn't have any balloons, we didn't have any helium, so you're really only left with condoms and the air in your lungs. So all you got to do at this point is tie your paracord around it and give it to little Bobby. There you go, Bobby. It looks like an alien head, or you can bop it. Ooh, bop it. Ooh, this is fun. It's a punch balloon. Also, if you're at a lively party, you can liven it up even more with a little game of Catch That Condom. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be alone forever because I didn't catch the condom.